We've been doing a lot of dragging and dropping with our editing. And occasionally I've given you the shortcut of period or comma to do an insert or an overwrite. But in all cases, when we did the insert and overwrite, we always were putting it on the main track or track one. Well, you can use keyboard shortcuts and track targeting so you can place the video on any track of your choosing. So in this case, we'll do the same edit that we've done earlier, which is the cutaway to the pizza, but I want to make sure that we go to video track V2 and audio track A2. And I can do that simply by moving these little gray boxes to the track where I want the video to go. So now if I hit the overwrite button or use the keyboard shortcut of period, my video is going to go exactly where I want it, and that's track two. Now I've already marked the endpoint, which I have done earlier, so it's just a matter of I have an endpoint on my timeline, and I'm going to go ahead and do an overwrite. As you see, it goes automatically onto track V2 and the audio track of A2. Now, if you recall from the earlier video, I had a problem with the audio because it was just too loud on the close-up. So let me hit undo, and I want to point out that in addition to targeting a track, I can also choose to target no tracks. So for instance, if I want to just bring the video in and not the audio, I could simply click on that, and now nothing is highlighted. So when I hit overwrite or the period key, it just brings in my video track and I don't even have to deal with the audio. Now you can do the same type of track targeting with an insert edit, but that's going to leave a large gap underneath. Now that's not a problem if that's your intention, but I'm going to do an insert edit onto track V3 just so you can see what happens in your timeline. I'll put it right here where the playhead has ended up after the last edit. I'm going to target track V3, and the clip that I'm going to choose will be our overlay, which is do not try this at home. However, I do want you to try this type of edit at home, so I named the title sequence do try this at home. Now I'm going to go ahead and double click, and something different is going to happen than you're used to, and I just want to point this out. We haven't got to creating a title yet, but whenever you double click on a title that's created in Premiere Pro, it actually opens that title up for you to edit with. And we'll explore how you can create titles later, but if you double clicked, don't panic, simply close the window, and a great trick for loading a title into our source panel is right-clicking and saying open in source monitor. You could also just drag it into the source monitor if you wanted, but either way would work just fine. Once a clip is in the source monitor, I can simply target the track I want it to be on. Let's go ahead and put it onto track three, and we're going to do an insert versus an overwrite edit so you can see how that will split your entire timeline. So this could be a good technique if you wanted to insert a shot and you didn't want to insert it onto track one, you know you'll be using it later or adding something underneath. But in this case, it doesn't meet my needs, so I'll simply do undo, switch my playhead back to the close-up of the cutting of the pizza, and this time with V1 targeted to V3, we'll do an overwrite edit, we have our cutaway, and we're good to go. So track targeting is very valuable if you want to be specific where your video and audio track land when using a keyboard shortcut or a button, and it's also very useful when you want to bring in just a video track or an audio track by itself.